Whitney Bond, and these are the cooking secrets of a single girl. It's Meatless Monday, so I'm inviting one of my favorite vegetarian friends over, Miss Michelle. So she actually got to try this dish that we're making at the Little Upper Book two-year anniversary party that I had back a couple weeks ago. And I know you're a big fan, so I wanted to bring you over so I could show you how to make them yourself. Oh, great. I'm so excited. So how long have you been a vegetarian? For 20 years. So a really long time. It's been a while. So you know how to make some awesome vegetarian dishes, right? I hope so. So I like meat. I'm from Oklahoma. Let's be real. So if I was going to come over to your house, you're going to make me something where I wouldn't miss the meat, what would you make me? Um, well, I, I tend to stay away from sort of meat substitutes like veggie burgers or those sort of things and just go for really delicious food. Um, so I love making quinoa. I just made a quinoa risotto last night and I know you love to cook with it as well. Yeah, we it's just a made a quinoa protein. caprese salad last week on the show, so if you missed it, tune in. <laughs> cool, well, I love delicious flavors, so uh, that's what we're going to do right here. Is combine some delicious flavors. So we're going to make a mango salsa with this chopped up Roma tomato that we have and then one whole chopped up mango. And then we're going to add to that uh, about a quarter cup of uh, chopped red onion and one whole jalapeno chopped. And then we're going to squeeze the juice of one lime. And then we're going to add a little fresh cilantro right on top. And then we're just going to mix that all together. And instead of using chips, we're going to keep it gluten-free and vegetarian. So you could serve this really at like any, any party you've got coming up because everybody can enjoy it. So we're going to throw a little sriracha on for spiciness. Just a little dollop right in the middle of our jicama crisp. And then we're going to throw a little bit of the sweet mango salsa. Got to get some mango in there for you. And there you go. Thank you. All right. Make a little one for myself. Mm. I'm digging it. How is it? It's so good. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, you can find this recipe and so many more on my food blog, littleleopardbook.com. And I'm Winnie Bond. Join us tomorrow for Taco Tuesday, where I'll be cooking up another delicious cooking secret.